Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Hi kids. How are you today? Okay, for today lesson, please open your Get Smart Plus 3 workbook. Okay, buku latihan, muka surat 37. Okay, look at here, listen and draw a line. Okay, so awak dengar. Kejap lagi saya akan baca transkip dan kemudian awak draw line. Okay, lukiskan uh, lukiskan uh, garisan dekat mana letaknya um, item-item yang ada. Okay, kat sini kita ada radio, mirror, cat, picture and Slippers. Okay, contohnya, uh, kalau dekat dalam audio tu awak dengar, the radio, it's in the wardrobe. Okay, so dia kata in the wardrobe. So, awak gariskan radio masuk dalam almari. Okay, so kalau dia kata the mirror is on the wall. Okay, so on the wall. Okay, dinding ni besar dekat mana? Wall dekat dengan pintu ke? Dekat dengan bookshelf ke? Dekat dengan armchair ke? Dekat dengan bed ke? Nanti awak dengarkan betul-betul. Okay, saya akan bacakan dua kali. Okay, so you have to listen clearly and then draw the line. Okay? Number one. Where's the radio? It's in the wardrobe. Where is it? It's in the wardrobe. Number two. Where's the mirror? It's on the wall where it's on the wall just behind the door where are the cats they are on the floor are they on the mat no they aren't they are sleeping under the bed number four Where's the painting? It's on the wall between the bookcase and the wardrobe. On the wall where? Between the bookcase and the wardrobe. Number five. Where are the slippers? They are on the floor in front of the armchair. Where? On the floor, in front of the armchair. Okay, I will read again. Uh, so, you have to listen carefully. So, you have to identify where is the place of the object. Okay, kenal pasti dekat mana tempat objek-objek ini. Dengar dengan teliti. Okay, ini adalah perbualan. Okay, number one. Where is the radio? It's in the wardrobe. Where is it? It's in the wardrobe. Where's the mirror? It's on the wall. Where? It's on the wall just behind the door. Where are the cats? They are on the floor. Are they on the mat? No, they aren't. They are sleeping under the bed. Number four. Where's the painting? It's on the wall between the bookcase and the wardrobe. On the wall? Where? Between the bookcase and the wardrobe. Where are the slippers? They are on the floor. In front of the armchair. Where? On the floor. In front of the armchair. Okay, I hope you already know the place of all of the objects. Okay, next, let's we look at the next question. Look at activity 1 and answer. So, you have to look back. Okay, tengok semula dekat gambar di atas untuk menjawab soalan-soalan yang di, diberikan. Okay, mari kita lihat. Where's the radio? It's in the wardrobe. Okay, so yang kedua. Where's the mirror? Okay, mirror tadi kat mana? It's on the wall behind the the door. Okay, so tuliskan mirror tadi daripada uh, audio yang saya bacakan. Okay, jawapan dia adalah It's on the wall behind the door. Okay, tuliskan it's
Okay, next. Where are the cats? Okay, cats tadi kat mana? They are on the floor under the bed. Okay, so tuliskan there are. Okay, next, where's the painting? Okay, painting tadi, it's on the wall between the bookcase and the wardrobe. So, tuliskan kat sini. It's... On the wall between the bookcase... And the wardrobe. Okay, next, the last question. Where are the slippers? They are on the floor in front of the armchair. Tuliskan there, ya. On the floor, in front of the armchair. Okay, next. Okay, look at next page. Look, read and write. Okay, I live in a big house. So, kat dekat dekat uh, Objek, depan objek semua kita letakkan dia punya, dia punya sifat dia. Okay, so there is a sofa in the living room. So, sofa kan? Sofa ni warna merah. So, awak tuliskan, there is a red sofa in the living room. Okay, dekat depan, awak salin balik semua ni. Dekat depan perkataan sofa ni awak tuliskan, awak tuliskan red. Okay, so red. So, awak akan tulis ayat je, salin balik kat bawah ni. There is a red sofa in the living room. Okay. Yang ni, I have got a bookcase. Okay, bookcase ni warna yellow kan. I have got a yellow bookcase. So, awak tuliskan yellow ni dekat depan perkataan bookcase. Okay, yellow. Awak jangan tulis macam saya ni. Awak salin balik semua tau ni. Dekat garisan bawah ni awak tuliskan semula. I have got a yellow bookcase. Okay, salin kat bawah eh. Ha, nanti kan kalau hantar kerja saya tak nak tengok awak buat macam ni. Awak kena salin semula ayat yang leng lengkap. Okay, mari kita lihat. There is a tree in the garden. Apa yang uh, besar? Big ni. Big garden. Ataupun big tree ya. Pokok besar kan. So, there is a big tree. In the garden. Okay, so salin balik dekat bawah sini. There is a big tree in the garden. Salin balik yang atas ni. Tulis, tambah perkataan big dekat depan. Tree. Okay, ni kat sini. There is a painting on the wall. Okay, pretty. So kita letakkan kat depan sini. Cantik. Okay, there is a pretty painting on the On the wall. So, awak tuliskan. Okay. Okay, next. Mari kita lihat. Draw your house. Then write about it. Answer the question on page 51. In student's book. Then present to the class. Okay, so. Kat sini awak kena tuliskan beberapa ayat mengenai rumah awak. Dan kat sini awak lukiskan rumah awak. Okay. I live in a big house. In a small house. In a beautiful house. In a apa house. Okay, so. Uh, awak tak perlu risau Kalau awak tak ada idea You don't have any idea to write about your house It's okay So you have to just open your textbook Page 51 So you copy down Awak salin uh, awak salin balik ni ni. Okay, ayat ini awak salin I live in a big house The kitchen, the living room and the bathroom are downstairs 
There are three bedroom upstairs. My favorite bedroom is my bedroom. It has got pink walls. There are three flowers on the wall. There is a big window next to my bed. I love my bedroom. So, awak boleh ubahlah ayat dekat sini. Uh, yang sesuai dengan awak. Ini untuk rumah dua tingkat. Kalau awak rumah satu tingkat, awak boleh kata I live in a big house. The kitchen, the living room and the bathroom. Tambah sekali. And the bedroom. Okay, ada dekat downstairs. Okay, tak ada upstairs, tak payah dah tulis. My favorite room is my bedroom. Okay, so warna bilik awak warna apa? It has got warna apa? Blue color, green color, yellow color. Okay, color warna apa? Walls here. There are three flowers on the wall. So, awak tak perlulah kata nak tulis three flowers on the wall. Dekat awak punya bedroom ada apa? Ada meja, ada wardrobe. Awak tulis lah. There is a big wardrobe. Next to my bed ada uh, almari almari baju lah wardrobe di sebelah di sebelah apa katil awak tilam awak so I love my bedroom itu contoh kalau awak nak tukar kalau awak rasa um, tak mampu nak tukar it's okay awak just salin saja ni salin saja ayat ayat ini di dalam buku aktiviti awak dan juga lukiskan di sini apa yang awak tulis di sini Penerangan awak, awak lukiskan kat dalam kotak ni. Okay, have a try. Okay, 3 IK, 3 IK. Saya tahu awak semua mesti super memang the best BI, memang terbaik. 3 IK. Awak boleh cuba untuk buat ayat sendiri. Ubah sikit-sikit. 3 IS pun is okay. Awak punya BI pun not too bad. Okay, awak boleh cuba. Kalau tak boleh cuba nak buat ayat lain, awak boleh tiru sahaja dekat dalam buku teks muka surat 51. Okay, that's all for today. Okay, see you next week. Bye.